All right, everybody. Now, talking about metronidazole and tinidazole, uh, which are having a huge spectrum, right? They are having broad spectrum. So, when we talk about metronidazole and tinidazole, so they are used for intestinal MBBSs as well as amoebic liver abscesses, right? So, generally in combination with the luminal amoebicide, idoquinol or paramomycin to eradicate luminal diseases. So these agents are also effective against uh, 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 Garidia intestinalis uh, and uh, T vaginalis. So metronidazole shows activity against anaerobic bacteria. Metronidazole has uh, disulfiram like action so therefore alcohol should be avoided. Tinidazole appears to be better tolerated and it should be avoided in first trimester of pregnancy due to teratogenic effects. Furthermore, if you take uh, metronidazole, so you see you will develop a metallic taste, right? Along with other adverse effects. So I hope you would study that as well. Then we will come up uh, on iodocuninol. So it is active against trophozoid and cyst forms in the intestinal lumen but not in the intestinal wall or extra intestinal tissues. So it produces GI disturbances and changes in iodine levels that may cause toxicity. Then we have uh, paramomycin. So it's a broad spectrum antibiotic related to neomycin and streptomycin. That is useful as an alternative treatment for mild to moderate luminal infection or in asymptomatic carriers in place of idoquinol. Uh, Thank you so much. That is it, everybody.